All right, people, welcome to another episode of Natty News Daily. The uh, the weekly episodes are now in check. We had that quick little one last weekend, but but now we're on. So we're on for these every Friday episodes. So this episode is going to be kind of cool. Um, I kind of had this idea the other day, ran it by the guys, and it was a unanimous decision of this being kind of a cool idea. So we'll probably do this on a semi-regular basis, um, but basically just talking about some up-and-comers in the sport, Um, whether it's people we follow, potentially people we coach, people we've just come across through Instagram, um, but just kind of bringing some attention to some some names that might be, you know, household in the natural bodybuilding community in the future. Um, We've already looked at the guys that we're going to talk about, and there's there's names that I have never heard of before. I know there's a few names that these guys hadn't heard of before, so uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So Bear with me. I'm going to try to figure the screen share out right now. Um, desktop. Firefox. Okay, what do you guys see right now? I can see your screen. There we go. Have okay, strength. So, uh, we'll go the uh, unanimous one. Yeah, we're going to start with uh, Josh Kenyon because so the plan for this was for each of us to pick two names. Um, and then we, we quickly, quickly had a conversation about Josh and the three of us agreeing that we couldn't gloss over him not being on this list. So, He's got to be the first one we cover. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I've, I guess, known Josh for probably a couple of years now. I had had him on the podcast quite some time ago. I think after he had did the Muscle Mayhem, which I'll scroll down see if i can find some stage shots you guys can give his stage fun. shots are, are i i i don't know i don't know that his stage shots were as good as some of his gym shots but Here, here's one you know obviously beside doug miller so don't let that skew your perception of how good josh is because doug's unreal um, i don't think i don't think his stage shots did him justice honestly josh yeah, so so like he's he's 19 in this photo mm-hmm. so yeah that, like that's a joke <laughs> yeah i mean the the muscle density on him as a 19 year old like that's nasty yeah yeah find a back shot his back shot's disgusting yeah there we go there's a podcast right there there you are Leroy. 62 weeks ago and he's making me look like a child he makes a lot of us look like children. <laughs> yeah, he makes everyone look like a child. which is why he's our unanimous wait coach. i think this did you turn around on this one I don't know, but his triceps stupid. That's just, yeah. So, he so was- if you don't know who Josh Kenyon is, you've been under a rock for the past what four years. This um, is disgusting. You should probably figure out who he is real quick. The thing that I think uh, this is sixty-four weeks ago. He's way bigger now, too. Yeah, yeah. This is this is an oldie. If I go. Jesus. Uh, the thing that, like, he got in really good condition for being how young he was, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Here. like here he looks like a literally superhero. Yeah, yeah. just a large human. <laughs> His ab structure is, is insane, too. That's the other thing. He's got, like, he's, he's got, got perfect, body. like, eight-pack symmetry. Yeah, yeah. He's a super nice guy, too. Like, when I talk to him, he's, he's really just super down to earth, really humble. Like he'll probably listen to this and be like, why are you guys talking about me like that? (laughs) Yeah. No, I I've tried, I've tried like talking to him about that before. Like he'll post stuff and and he's just always like, Oh yeah, I just kind of go and like work out. I don't think much about it when it's like, dude, you are like the next coming of Doug Miller. You are the next top bodybuilder in the world. Like figure that out. (laughs) Yeah, here's one where he was pretty pretty peeled down. Um, is there anything that you look at? You know, obviously this is older, but is there anything you look at that you would think need to be brought up to be a little bit more competitive, like at the pro level? No. no. I mean, if he comes up all around, he's a world champ. So Yeah, it's and you you have to keep in mind too, like he only didn't win his pro card because he faced off against Ace, who's yeah. a super high level bodybuilder in him in itself. Like he didn't lose to some Joe Schmo amateur. Like he, he in any other show would have won his pro card Yeah, already sure. in his first show and probably should have competed pro already. So 
Yeah, I know. I think he was supposed to compete last year, but COVID messed that. Yeah, here's like yeah, a, he was. Here's one with him at ace, and like you know, you can see you know in this photo here, just the the time that Ace has had under the the load when it comes to training, right? Like just the you know a little bit more like density looks like in his glutes and his hamstrings and stuff. Maybe a little bit more conditioning than John. Yeah, but, yeah I think the conditioning is the main thing you edge him out on. But when you look at you know. Josh next to him, it's he's not out of place at all. No, not at all. It's insane because Ace is Ace is awesome. He's a very very good competitor. Yeah, he yeah. is excellent. No, I, competitor. if if we're comparing him to other physiques, I mean, there's he doesn't. It's time. He needs time. That's it. Like well, there's no he, there's no muscle. It's it's conditioning and muscle maturity, which comes with time. Well, you were saying that if he could do well at the pro level and he's standing next to Ace, it doesn't look like a schmuck. So, and Ace is doing well in the pro level. So, mm -hmm. yes, I think that's your answer. Yeah. And this, this is 91 weeks ago, but like, like even like his V taper, his shape is really good. His shape is excellent. Yeah. Ridiculous. So, by unanimous decision, Josh Kenyon gets the first, uh, appearance on the up and comers list <laughs> mm -hmm. all Officer. right so let's go we'll go eat like i'll go first then dan then james and then we'll go back through the the second names on our list all right cool, cool. so i'm gonna pull up jordan so i had to i had to get a canadian on the list for sure so i saw the flag i saw the, the leaf um i'm gonna try to find some stage shots so he competed so this was his first show um, this was in Ottawa in September. He's got uh, quads, man. Yeah, just this past year. So he was uh, junior and lightweight. Unfortunately, wasn't the most competitive show. Obviously, numbers were were very much skewed because of all the the COVID shenanigans. So you know, hard hard to compare him to to where others may be, um, because he didn't really have anybody to compare himself to. But like for being as young as he is. Um, I, I think he's got a lot going mm -hmm. for, him for sure. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a really good shot for him right there. That's a really good taper, really good arm development. Chest is there. His um, arms are, you know, one of his, his stronger parts for sure. When I, like I was there live and the, the thing that just stood out to me was um, his back a little bit, which mm -hmm. was probably a lot to do with just his training. Yeah. Like, you know, get a few more years under his belt. And he'll still only be 24 years old and likely look very different. His arms were amazing. You guys, mm -hmm. you know, right off the back set his quads. So, you know, there's a lot to work with, which is awesome. Yeah. I think one thing with, with just bodybuilders in general, like pictures, obviously looks very good, but like seeing it in person is a completely different animal. Like. Yeah. His back looks decent in this shot. I, I think part of it too, we talked afterwards. I think part of it too is posing. He was, uh, mm -hmm you know, pulling back more so than like opening his lats up, which just, it made him look narrow because here it actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That, that shot you were showing before uh, the front double, he, you could tell he was kind of leaning yeah. back a little bit and not, not super flared out. Yeah. 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 I can see that. Um, and then right now, like man's looking pretty big. <laughs> Jesus. Holy. His arms are, yeah, his arms, you know, it's it's that fine line I find, right? Like, you don't want them to take away from everything else, right? Like, you don't want too big of arms to take away from your, your chest development or your shoulder development. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know. I think there's a, there's a, there's a balancing act when it comes to that. I do. Yeah. I, don't think, I think his back really is his only – I mean, the one shot from the side, it looked like his hamstrings might be weak, but this shot, I wouldn't say that anymore. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. like he's brought his last up. He's got a high, end, a little bit of a higher insur insertion, but that's about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, but no, for for how young he is, like, <laughs> look at this freaking arm on him. That's yeah. just that's yeah. just like, yeah, that's just stupid. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think for him, I think last I spoke, he's skipping this year, which is probably smart for yeah. numerous reasons. Um, He's hanging heavier, which is good too for him. Yeah, he, he's pushing up. He's not he's not dinking around, trying to t trying to stay lean, um, which you know we've talked about that numerous times about younger athletes trying to, 
you know, hold condition, um, which ends up just shooting them in the foot from a competitive standpoint. So I'm, I'm glad to see he's not doing that. And he's really, you know, he's, he's pushing the loads up. I think I saw him post a video. He, he got 500 off the floor the other day. So he's, he's training hard. He's obviously eating lots and he, he's growing. So very, mm -hmm. uh, very excited for what's to come for this guy. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right, Dan, you're up. Who's next? You got two, don't you? Are we doing? No, we'll go. We'll go one, 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 and then we'll go back. One, one, one. Okay. Who's your first? You want to talk about? You can go with Tanner. I picked Tanner for. I. I'm we'll just going to order. Right. Tanner Hansen's a uh, competitor. He competed. I believe it was last. No, it was. Uh, it would have been 2019. Uh, 2020 just seems like a blur. He worked with uh, Jared Feather. I know. Um, I've talked with him a little bit, like chatted in the in the DMs a little bit. He's a he's a super nice guy. Uh, dude's a monster. Like his hamstrings are just disgusting. Like disgusting. He uh he competed. I think he did two shows in his season. I think he did a OCB show in Classic, which he won his show. I don't think it was big enough of a show for him to win his pro. But uh, and he did an NPC show, which I believe he might have won. I think he yeah he did win win his NPC show too like carries a ridiculous amount of muscle on his frame. Um, yeah. Really yeah. great. Look, you got the picture with uh, Jared. There's uh, that's the OCB show he won. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah I mean, that's, that's a well-built solid. Yeah. yeah he's, he's sure. a, yeah. What do you think about crunching down in the front double? I think it really, really depends on your shape mm -hmm. i've uh i've had this discussion with my friend and client sean yeah, yeah i think it really depends i i i didn't crunch when i competed but i'm kind of regretting not crunching there's a shot with jared which is cool jeez Jared's yeah I, I think if you have like really nice blocky ab structure i think it's probably a good idea to crunch mm -hmm. Like I, I have pretty nice blocky abs, so like for me, I think it makes sense. I have potentially the worst abs you'll ever see, so I like half vacuum everything, so you'll never see me crunch down. <laughs> <laughs> he's strong, eh? He's moving a lot of weight around. Yeah, he, he's a. I think he was a former powerlifter. He was powerlifting. Five hundred for oh, eight. Boy. Yeah, it's like an empty bar, man. <laughs> yeah, he's strong as hell. Yeah. There's yeah, a reason his legs are as big as they are. It doesn't even look like he's wearing a belt. He might not be, honestly. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Very uh, how old is he, you know? I don't know offhand. No. I, I think he's probably it's a bonus point mid late twenties, but yeah. Really he's he, he's a, he's a super nice guy too. Like I said, I've I've chatted with him a handful of times. This one, this shot, I like. Yeah, I think he I think he might be in prep right now. You know for what? I don't know for sure. USAPL 105 Raw Junior Champ. So yeah. He's dabbled in the powerlifting game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. They explain. It's funny, eh? When you when you look at guys that have powerlifted before, like the amount of muscle on his lower body, it's just yeah. Like, deadlifting and squatting hundreds and hundreds of pounds. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah, really, really good. Like his like glutes and lower back too, from just being under so much load, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. cool. All right, James, who's up? Yeah. Um, let's go with Kev first. Yeah. So Kevin is uh, actually one of Brett's uh, clients. He, he's been with Brett for a bit uh, before we even started working together. He, when he first competed, uh, was 19. So yeah, this is a pretty cool video shows like this was back, you know, 19 years old. He's got some good size when he's bulking, but then like, his muscle maturity at his age to me is remarkable. Yep. Um, he's, he's another one like Josh, where it's just like the guy's got definition and density that a lot of us won't have. 
Um, but then his work ethic and commitment is just crazy. Uh, watch, look, pull up some of his like actual training videos. I think he pulled like 555 from the floor. He squats like a madman. Like the guy pours everything into it. And if he can stay healthy, you know, as a 19 and 20 year old, he's going to, he's going to just crush it. This is 540. Well, that's not 545 yet. No, but I mean, even that weight, you know, at, at 19, yeah. just casually pulling that, like it's nothing. Yeah. Oh, 19, that's nuts. Here it is. Oh, yeah, that wasn't even hard. That wasn't hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Incredibly strong. He uses it. He's smart. He's got Brett watching over everything. And he's just, he, he reminds me, I think I said this in our conversation, he reminds me of like Kaifi, really. Um, just like throws everything at it no fluff, nothing fancy, just like big baggy clothes and heavy weights. <laughs> I love the flannel. Yeah. I'm partial to flannels. So yeah, I had to pick them for that reason. <laughs> we got 555 coming up. This is 495 for a feeler. Here we go. <laughs> Slapping the shit out of them. Nice. Oh, Strong. Nice. Yeah. So I mean, he's he's been in a long term bulk since that early uh, early prep. So it's it's going to pay off for him. What's he weigh? Uh, and I, I I'm excited. What? What's he weigh? I don't know. That's a good question. He looks dense as all hell though. <laughs> like would he be like? Do you have any idea at all? Like would it be 180, 190? I really, I truthfully, no idea. No, but yeah, solid, solid physique, but his work ethic and his strength, I think is what, you know, at that age is what's going to really pay off for him. Yeah. That'll, that'll carry him far for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You don't see, uh, I mean, things are starting to turn now, but you, you don't typically see a lot of 19 year olds like doing that stuff and mm -hmm. clearly as regularly as he is, you know what I mean? It's one thing to go in, once in a while with the boys and get all excited and deadlift, but like he's clearly deadlifting, squatting, pressing mm -hmm. a lot of weight, a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very simple training, but that, I mean, that's kind of how we, we do it a little bit. Um, yeah. and he just, he goes after it. He he's one that <laughs> when he says it's an RIR one, it's truly an RIR one, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's a, a good skill to have at such a young age. Definitely is. Um, all right, so let's go back for my picks. So David, um, I don't. You guys follow him? Mm, I don't uh, think yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coached by AJ, um, mm. you know, one of his little prodigies over there in the UK. So he um, competed this past year for the first time. Um, unsurprisingly, won. <laughs> um, and How old is he? Uh, I know he's in university. I keep he, he, 20, maybe. Say so he doesn't look that old no, at all. He's, he's not no. very old. And dude, the, the quads and the quads in that kid. Yeah. He's, you know, they, they, a few of the guys over there call him the little young Kai green, um, or natty Kai green, whatever they refer to him as, but like, you know, for good reason, his, his shape, his structure. Um, yeah. He's, he's got great muscle. He's carrying on his physique. Um, at such a young age is just insane. Like this, this shot, I like just kind of that. Oh, wow. The Terrence Ruffin. Yeah. That's impressive. Um, I think that was the UK finals. Yeah. Yeah. He won, he won the, I think this is the junior class. I think Finn is a junior as well. But yeah, I mean, I mean like his shoulders, his arms, his quads, you know what I mean? It's a great structure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so much, you know, that back shot is ridiculous. Dear Lord, those legs. <laughs> yeah, like his quad from, from the outside. Yeah, when you see the quad from the back, that's when you know they're, like, enormous. Um, he's another one, you know, similar to Josh, like, super humble. You know, you know, deep down, he probably knows he's good, but you'll never hear him say it. 
he, he's very much, you know, a humble guy, just works hard, loves to train, loves bodybuilding. Let's see if I can, can you guys see that stuff? Yeah. He's young, right? Like, give him a couple more years and he's just going to look so, so good. Mm-hmm. Really, really good posing too. I, 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 I've seen that as a trend with a lot of the UK guys. They don't mess around with their posing. They really nail it. Um, a lot of amateur competitors should probably take after that a little bit better because it doesn't matter how good you look if you can't show it off. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, here's some shots from I think the show or from his prep. Yeah, just a name that I couldn't uh, I couldn't ignore. I've chatted with him a little bit through like the Natty News page and stuff, and mm-hmm. you know, just a, a kid with a bright future. Yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. Do you know what his plans are for uh, like potentially this year, next year? Um, not entirely. Um, like I said, he's he's in university. I know he's got you know, some school ahead of him that obviously he wants to take care of, which makes sense. Um, I'm interested to see where things go for him with the recent changes over there. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, if he'll go the PNBA route or if he'll, you know, stay in the WNBF UK. A lot of competitors that I've seen um, since they made these announcements have kind of said they're going to compete everywhere um, and just kind of see where things fall, which is something that we talked about yeah. when we did the video there that we assumed a lot of people would just kind of you know get their feet yeah you don't you're not tied down so yeah yeah and just see where everything goes so um dude look how swole he looks in a shirt too that's when you know you're swole man (laughs) 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 yeah gonna bust out of that (laughs) jesus (laughs) all right dan you're up all right i picked uh my second one is uh Steve Hall. Steve um, Hall. He's got a lot of client pictures on here. Let's see if we can find some recent shots. Yeah, this I think this one shows really well. He's he's come up like tremendously over the last I don't know what is it three years? Yeah, three years. Yeah, I mean I I've kind of watched him like with my own eyes, like just like holy heck, especially when he, you know, started prepping last year, which he ended up canning the prep, I believe. But uh it was just like, wow, that's like, I mean, he's carrying a lot of muscle on his frame now. Mm-hmm. It's crazy he's... the vascularity his legs hold. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I have noticed, like even in his videos, like not still shot, you can still see his separation at the weight he's carrying right now is really, really quality. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, uh, you know, and he does a lot of his training now without a shirt on, which I don't blame him. He looks great, man. He's uh, he's very smart, obviously. So the the knowledge he applies to you know how he trains and stuff like that, it, it's only going to help him, right? Yeah, he's very very deliberate, very you know very analytical. Yeah, very calculated. Like if he you know in these photos here, it says he's one ninety and still you know really good shape, really good condition. He's got great shape. Yeah, that is, that's, yeah, looks fantastic. Steve's a great dude too. Yeah. I've chatted with him a a few times and yeah, he's a really great dude. Great, great crew too. Um, I've chatted with a few other coaches. I'm actually pretty good friends with Jess Douglas, who actually I need to respond to a message from her, but, um, but, uh, I mean, he's, he's one of the great crew. Yeah, he's one of a handful Steve's of people awesome. that are like truly pushing the sport forward and truly like spreading yeah. the word and the science of it. And you know, it and it's it's good to see, you know, he, he backs it up too. Yeah, for sure. He walks the walk. Talks the talk and walks the walk. Yep. His his, that, his that podcast, shot. his podcast is one of the best in the best in the industry right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely, definitely in the natural stream for sure. 
he's on top of things. He does, uh, you know, the informative stuff and then, you know, the interview style with other people, but, you know, he's really into the science side of things, which is only helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. That means, uh, James got one more. Yeah, we got Muhammad. Um, so this is, a kind of a true unknown, right? So I stumbled upon him in some of the social media stuff. Uh, he chatted with him a little bit. Brett and I have been kind of consulting back and forth with him, kind of guiding him because he's an absolute debut, never competed before, just kind of figuring the ropes out this year for a hopeful competition sometime this year. Um, he's not coached by us. Uh, Dude, kinda, he does uh, He does not have a waist. No, no. His, his <laughs> zero waist. Ridiculous. His genetics are ridiculous. Uh, and it's funny because he, you know, like when we first started talking, he was trying to figure out like, Oh, what are the different divisions? What are the different organizations? Like, should I compete in physique? And I was like, what, what did you just say? Like, what? <laughs> like, no, don't do that. Like bodybuilding, or if you have to do classic, you know, like this guy's potential is remarkable. Um, scroll. Yeah. I mean, that looks, that looks great. Um, scroll down. There's a, there's a shot. I think the one that I sent the group where he's in almost like posing trunks there. Yeah. That one there. I mean, just really, really fantastic quads already. His arms are great. You know, no the, weights. The That's proportions. The yeah. The, the waist is like, dude, he's got to have like, when he's lean, he's got to have like a 24. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, so imagine, you know, and he's another young athlete. So add another five to seven pounds on top of that with the same proportions and better conditioning, like lights out. He's going to look fantastic. So my big thing with him was, you know, make sure you do this prep, right? Like don't burn yourself. You have fantastic potential. Just do it the right way. Yeah. His, his shape will carry him far. Like mm -hmm. you said, just a little bit more muscle and yeah. get in condition for the show. You know, there's one thing that you can't change on someone necessarily, and that's their skeleton. And mm -hmm. the fact that his waist is as small as it is, you know, he's got wide, wide clavicles, so his shoulders are good. You know, mm -hmm. his, you know, his joints look relatively small in comparison to right, which makes his his muscle bellies look that much bigger. Um, which is something that in bodybuilding, it it really does add up to to the total quality of the look. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, get, get decent conditioning in this first show, make sure his posing's on and he's going to do well. Um, he's one of those people that probably in the right division and organization could go pro in their first show. If things fall into line, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a good thing though. Um, you know, get some experience in the, in the, in the league for sure. But yeah, I mean, look at that back. <laughs> that's, that's nuts. You know how old he is? Uh, I think he's another like 20 year old. Yeah, really, really bright future for him. I think, uh, you know, if he pursues, you know, classic and the OCB or the IPE, like his his shape really, you know, accomplished. Yeah, he could obviously, do really well. Obviously, bodybuilding, you know, he, he would do well in, but his shape, you know, if they do mm -hmm. look for a classic look, I, I think he fits the mold. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, he's one of the people that, you know, have the classic look for sure. He definitely has the muscle density to do open as well. You know, so long as he gets that, that conditioning, which is, I think why he was probably leaning towards the classic uh, for the first show, just, you know, a little bit less pressure and you don't have to, to dig quite as much. He seems to like the classic flow and the, the class some of the classic poses too, though. Yeah. 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 Like th this, you know, do the the side tricep with the way his quads are here, like like those legs are thick as shit. <laughs> they are crazy. Yeah. All right. I think there we go. We're back. All right, dudes. I think that was uh, super cool. That was good. Yeah, it was it's fun. Now we are we're tagging all of them, right? Right? Because I actually didn't, I did not tell my two people that I was picking them. So this will be a nice Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little surprise. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tag them all and we'll, uh, we'll spread the word. I'll tag, um, you know, the WMBF, I'll tag the OCB, the CPA and stuff too. And, you know, try to, try to get some publicity for the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if anybody wants to see future episodes like this, let us know if you want to see maybe, 
different divisions, you know, we'll do like a bodybuilding show. We'll do a bikini show, a figure show, a classic show, whatever you guys want. Let us know in the comments uh, and we'll do our best to accommodate. So from the three of us at Natty News Daily, we appreciate you guys watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for more. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Natty underscore news underscore daily. All our social media is linked down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one.